Okay, let's lay let's let's lay this out for everybody so you understand our premise and what we're going for here. Welcome to Hooker Week. Now, we have no problem with sex and sexuality. If you want to be sexy, go ahead. Have fun. Be sexy at Halloween. Fuck. You do the sexiest things you want. What we have issue with are these, uh, and these are all costumes you purchase from an actual retail outlet. These are not stuff yeah. people make themselves. We have problems with the subject matter of some of these sexy costumes, such as yeah. why is this supposed to arouse yeah. some? Yeah, why is this supposed to, you know, get someone in the mood to fuck? Yeah. Um, and we're going to start with a runner-up this week, the runner-up this year, the one that everyone sent us, and it's a runner-up because it's no longer available for sale. Yeah. This is the one, the minute it happened, it was like, if there, if we had like a bat symbol, this yeah. shit would... would, would... <laughs> like, our Twitter mentions went insane. Um, so yeah. we're, we're going to start this week with... Uh, the sexy handmaid's tail costume. Clearly designed by someone who did not read or watch the handmaid's tale. <laughs> Cause literally nothing sexy happening there. Yeah, in fact, everything about the handmaid's tale, especially in re regards to how sex it all of that. Like you will sew your vagina shut. Mm -hmm. You watch too much of that show. It's it, and especially the message of the show was so overwhelming. And this just felt so insulting to so many yeah. people um, yeah. that Yandy actually pulled it. Now, remember that name. Will Which Circle. It's the first time they've ever done that. Yeah. Will this is kind of their brand. Like sexy stuff that shouldn't be sexy is kind of their thing. We'll circle back around to that later on in this because we've got some stuff to say. Um, so yeah, that's our runner up. Yes, we know about it. Everyone sent it to us and God damn. That and is yeah, just, it's some bullshit. <clears throat> that is, that's not, you shouldn't be, if you're like, if you're product the, design is a thing that goes through a lot of steps and several approvals. Yeah. Like no product is just a dude has an idea and throws it out there. Like it goes through folk, like. Tara, this show is a dude had an idea and just threw it out there. But I'm saying like, <laughs> like that that's mass produced. Okay, fair enough. That yeah. goes through some layers of approval, which yeah. means this wasn't just one fucking asshole. No, this this was a this chain. Was several fucking assholes. This this was a thread of assholes. Yeah, who were like, no, that seems fun. That's hilarious. Chain of assholes. The asshole, just the highway of assholes. At every stop, every mile marker, it's an asshole. Um, but yeah, who is Yeah, we're not even getting into the fact that Yandy has sexy, racist everything. Circling around, Tara. Circling around. Okay. They're um, talking about it, but... So yeah, this is... No one should be watching the hand... If you were watching The Handmaid's Tale and you're going, that's hot. You need therapy. Yeah. <laughs> or you're Mike Pence. And you need therapy. Let's get back. Let's get to the actual costumes that are available for sale right now, ladies. Get your wallets ready. First off, the uh, coming in at number ten this year, the women's cute furry space creature costume. This is an Ewok. <laughs> <laughs> This is a trademark strip. This is they 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 filed off the tr yeah. the, the trademark name, but uh, somebody wants to fuck and an most e of these will, if we're being honest. So somebody wants to fuck an Ewok. I mean, yeah, I think lots of people want to fuck Ewoks. No, no, not no. You, not like you, but I think lots of people do. E Ewok. You don't, that's, no, no. Nyub, nyub. <laughs> I'm just saying, I bet if you Google Ewok porn, there are going to be some hits. 
Someone's doing that right now. I'm, I'm just saying. Someone's doing that right now. Uh, just. Wow. Did you just Google it? <laughs> of course I did. Well, don't click on anything. He'll get kicked off uh, the air. Next up what is. I, what bothers me is they look like Mickey Mouse ears. Yeah, but no. Like they're not the right shape. Somebody out there. Who, ladies? And I don't get why the new thing with the sexy costume is the bare upper leg, but then the big, fat, furry lower leg. Yeah. Is that sexy? I don't. I, I'm not. I'm not sure. Like, yeah. cause that's a thing. That's a recurring theme with the sexy costume now. Though, like from the knee down, you have big, giant, furry legs. Ladies, I'm just saying. Is the knee to the ass, the sexiest part of a woman. Ladies, if you're going out in this costume, hoping to come home with with a, a friend, um, you have to consider what sort of friend <laughs> this yeah. is. And also, you have to consider you might be sued by Lucasfilm. Um, <clears throat> next up, the, now, you were talking, we were talking about they, they scraped the trademark off. This next one is actually licensed. This Ooh. is an official costume Ooh. for something that, again, nobody should want to fuck. Um, are you familiar with the Saw series? Yeah, I've never seen them. You seen that little puppet thing? But, yeah. Oh, no. Oh, yes. The sexy Billy costume that is the puppet that Jigsaw Isn't he a weird used. puppet on, like, a tricycle? Yes. That tells people how to torture themselves to death? This is, and I want to point this out, licensed Saw doll costume for women. So they approached the makers of the Saw series and said, hey... We want to make a sexy costume based on your creepy little fucking puppet. They said, okay, give us money. I mean, those movies have made less and less money as they've gone along, so I'm thinking we know what the motive is here. Yes. <clears throat> but, but, uh... Yeah. But no. Yeah. I'm just trying to decide which is more disturbing. The person that wants to fucking Ewok... Or the person that wants to fuck this doll. The death puppet. <laughs> and I want to point out that uh, this does not include, like, any... What's in here? Um, I mean, you have to do the makeup, obviously. Right. So it's got a dress, a jacket, gloves, stocking shoes. Um, nothing of this. The, the facial... The, 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 uh, the, the, the makeup on the face. Yeah, so it's really just a weird little latex. Right. You know? Right. So in terms of quality, this is... Oh, it doesn't come with the gloves, the stockings, or shoes. No, it doesn't. It's uh, just one dress, one jacket. So not only is it a horrible pretense, it's a ripoff at the same time. Yeah. I mean, you could buy that and be sexy ringmaster. <laughs> so not only... Yes. Sexy waitress. Yeah, you're going to be, you You know what, you could do the makeup yourself, weird as it is, and you wouldn't have to pay them a dime. So, yeah. That's, yeah, that's, that's 54 90 euro, not well spent. No. Um, let's, let's move right along. Uh, things that, this is one of those that definitely falls into, no matter, I don't care who you are, where you are. This is definitely in the category of things you should not be aroused by. Things you should not want to stick your genitals on. I don't care if it's male or female. This does not go near your genitals. Ever. I love when I hear him turn around and treat. Like, I bet I do. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Adult Chinese hot sauce costume. What? Who wants to fuck sriracha? That, that is the worst thing you could do to your genitals. Yeah, like, that would hurt. Oh, yes, it would. Oh, my God, would it? Oh, it's chick Ha, 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 Yeah. Not an officially licensed product. Nope. 
Who? I mean, I guess like it's a play on hot. Like I'm hot. Yeah. That's what I for Halloween. I'm hot. It's not very inventive, is it? No, no. Because it's just a dress. Now, what would be funny? Oh. Is if you wore this, soak the dress in sriracha, and then grind it on assholes all night. <laughs> Like douchebags that come up on you in the club. You're like, yeah. And just leave them. <laughs> I mean, it's just, aside from just, you know, you shouldn't want to fuck hot sauce. This is just so uninspiring. Yeah. I mean, it's 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 a dress. It could be I mean, anything. Kind of like they repurposed the hat from a crayon costume. Right. I mean, somebody looking at this be like, uh, what are you supposed to be? Hot sauce. Duh. <laughs> <It's> just... <laughs> Oh, uh, we had another Yandy one here. Um, and I, I'm not sure if this is returning or not, but god damn, it still annoys me. Um, sexy fake news. Ugh. Um, ladies, I think it's fair to say anyone you pick up while wearing this costume. The worst. <clears throat> They're going to be the worst. The worst. This is anyone who looks at that and go, I, I am into that. You're, you're going to be, re you're, yeah, you're going to be, mm, you're, you're going to be unhappy with the results of your tryst. Yeah. I expect. As, yeah. And again, this is one of those very lazy costumes. Cause again, it's, it's a dress. It's a short dress. Yeah. It's just a dress. I get, does it include the glasses? Glasses not included. So it's just a it's a sixty dollar dress. That's ridiculous. Yeah. Huh. It's not even a dress, if we're being honest, because huh. her ass crack definitely hanging out. Yeah. Like look at the side view on that motherfucker. Uh it it's that's sixty dollars for that. that Who is like gently caressing the bottom of her ass cheek. You don't want to... Which means it's a shirt. You don't want to attract this element. Ladies. No! God, no! No! That's... that's You're not gonna... That's that's not gonna be... Whoever's interested down with this is not... And only. also, yeah, he makes a good point. Do you really want the word fake splashed across your breasts? Because that's where <laughs> that word lands. At point. Like. Um, next up. Let's start mourning our childhoods together here. Um, yeah. <clears throat> remember Rainbow Bright? Yeah. Nice, cute little toy. I was even aware of it. Like, she was kind of pudgy. I bet now she wouldn't be if they brought her back. I watched that cartoon. Like size zero. Yeah. I watched that cartoon when I was a kid. I thought it was kind of cool. I do not think this is cool. <laughs> this is the uh, sexy, shine bright, cutie costume. Oh. Um. <sighs> okay. For the the uh, the adults who wanted to fuck <laughs> Rainbow Bright. This looks like. They took a waitress uniform from a casino mm -hmm. and just slapped some arm and leg warmers on it. Yeah. <laughs> Includes dress sleeves, thigh highs, and hair bows. So at Which least... is interesting because clearly in the photo, those mm. legs, those thigh highs are like photoshopped on. <clears throat> like that's not how fabric works. That's a gradient fill put on her legs <laughs> rainbow bright was just it was it was cute and it was she was a little kid she was at like what five or six or sorry nine yeah. or ten or something just a she kid. Had like the big chubby cheeks and shit I'm, I'm having trouble remembering my rainbow bright mythos but i was like i think she was like a real kid who got like trapped in like the, the color land or whatever 
I gotta be honest, I didn't watch Rainbow yeah. Bride, so I don't know. Uh, I was a strawberry shortcake kid, which they have lots of options for sexy strawberry shortcake. Like, too many. Yeah, that's the other thing about this. Rainbow Bright is a little obscure. Rainbow Bright yeah. never caught on. Yeah, she was kind of second tier <clears throat> yes. kids cartoon. Yes. Sure. So people are going to be like, okay. So this is like, not only will people want, you attract the sort who let, hey, that kid's cartoon character, I'd like to, you know, do things to it, but the rest of the people won't know who the fuck you are. You look right. like kind of like a superhero-ish kind of thing, maybe. Are you like a Sailor Moon, but not? Yeah, people are going to be guessing on that one. Yeah. Oh, well, this one, this next one is the complete opposite. People will know exactly the reference and be horrified. And this one, I don't know what it is about this costume that squished me out. Yeah. <laughs> Peggy's snoring. It sounds like she's depressurizing. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Th this, this one, this one's, I don't know what it is about it that squicks me out so hard. Oh. But are you feeling it too? Yeah. This, this oh. is... This is the adult bedtime bear costume Care Bears. Now they probably Which is licensed because Bedtime Bear was a real Care Bear. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, oh. Yeah. I'm not feeling this this that's that's I mean you are supposed to want to crawl in bed with a Care Bear. Yeah, but Yeah, I don't think you're supposed to want to nail a Care Bear. But the bear, part though. the part they're supposed to thrust at you is their tummy. <laughs> I just, I don't know what it is about this one, but it sort of like leans toward the pedo vibe. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, it doesn't help that they have her styled weirdly like Alice in Wonderland. Yeah. So she's kind of Alice in Wonderland with bear ears. Yeah. And it doesn't really work. Yeah. It's, it's just, it. Yeah, it's creepy. It's the also, damn thing. If you want to fuck your teddy bear, you have mommy issues. <laughs> Mm. It's just Care Bear stare in horror. Yes. <laughs> yes. Chat is on top here. Care Bear stare in horror. Just, I mean, who are you looking to 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 who Yeah, you, what's the goal when you go out wearing this? You're sending out a vibe, and I'm not sure this is the vibe. What as that's not something you want to bring back home. I'm like a pudgy bear that sends you good mm. thoughts, but like hot. <laughs> <laughs> okay, honey. Okay. Uh, Are you old enough to drink? Now this next one. A lot of these have been lazy as fuck. Yeah. This next one is astonishingly lazy as fuck. I'm going to spoil this one for you. This is a song. <laughs> I'm going to spoil this one for you. Sexy Bambi. Now, let's... The deer thing is big yeah, now. Yeah, what the hell is... With, like, the millennials. Now, let's... Like, let... there's a whole deer section in the Halloween store. It's what? a thing. Let's, let's put aside the fact that Bambi is a buck and what gender issues that people have to resolve there. Yeah, the sure. girl is Felina. But, um... This one is they did not even try. They they didn't they did not they did not even try. They didn't even try. What the <laughs> fuck is that? What is this atrocity? That's $90 is what that That's is. That's $90 for this. After a discount. And I want to point out Blowing it up this large size like this, it is some cheap, shoddy-looking material there. That is just some shoddy-ass... Because it's kind of like puffy stuff that are embroidered, but it's it's all like you're weird. Not, you're not going as Bambi. No, you've got Bambi... Going as a person wearing Bambi. On your tits. I just... What is what is the what's happened? This isn't a costume. <laughs> it's not a costume. This, 
This is a bathing suit. What is this? <laughs> what happened here? <laughs> That's wow. Okay. And oh my god, that lady, that smile that is a help me smile. I mean, like you could put skinny jeans over this and just wear it around Brooklyn. What what what's happening here? This is you are not pretending to be Bambi. You can't get the furry lower legs, though. I know what. That's the other thing that confuses me. Deer don't even have those kind of legs. No, they don't. Deer have skinny little legs. So what? Fuck. What happened here? What kind of half-assed satyr demon are you trying to be? It's it's a hundred and thirteen dollars, Tara. <laughs> And it doesn't include the furry leg. No, it doesn't. $113 for the bathing suit? Yes. Wow. That's it. It's a hundred. It apparently has a tail. Is there a view of the tail? Let's see. Oh, okay, there, there's. Oh, oh, yeah. That's a lazy tail. There's $113 worth for you. You know what I'm reminded of? We see those dog costumes where it's like, it's got like sewn on arms. And the legs are actually, yeah, hit, yeah. and you walk around and yeah. you like put the dog's head through it. That's what this reminds me of. I also want to point out that the way they have the color arranged with what I think is Bambi's like lighter colored chest uh -huh. from the back definitely looks like a maxi pad. Yeah. <laughs> $113. Looks like you put your maxi pad on the outside. <laughs> but hey, you get free shipping. So, you know, hey, all right, this next one is one of those. You got to think this through for just two seconds and then you cringe away. <laughs> this one, this is a thinker, but hopefully you'll all you'll all take the journey with me. The sexy pinata. No. That is whoa. A woman. Well, that is ugly. There's a lot going on there. That's a lot. This is a woman dressing as an object that is designed to be Beat up. beaten with a bag. But sexy. I mean, look, if you're into that, <clears throat> cool. I'm not here to kink shame you. If you want a dude to beat you with a stick, and everybody's having fun. Cool. <laughs> I don't think you should go trolling for that in public, though, because you're going to get some questionable characters. I, I, I. Like, there's a difference between kinky beaten with a stick and clockwork orange beaten with a stick. <laughs> <laughs> and you don't want to fall on the wrong side of that line. You know? Oh, my God. Oh, just... Did no one make this mental leap? Yeah. In the like, oh God. Along the asshole chain, did no one stop and go, wait a minute, we beat pinatas. We hit those with sticks. And this is for a woman. I mean, I guess for bonus points, you put some candy up your vagina. <laughs> <laughs> like, you just put some wrapped candy up your vagina. Oh, and if somebody hits you, you just pop. <laughs> oh my god. Uh okay, where are we also? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, we have another one that is just some of these go so far off the mark. Now I understand that there are characters you could have crushes on and like ship them and all that sort of stuff in your fanfic sure. and um but just this one kind of goes a little sideways. We're back at Star Wars again. Um, Star Wars. The dark side costume with oh, dark oh, spelled oh. as... That's not going to protect your burnt flesh. No. <laughs> it, it, it's... Let's, let's... Can we, can we get a better look at this horrible thing? This... All right, I you've missed all the points here. It's oh, Simba. <laughs> yeah. Oh, buddy. I, I can hear him. Yeah. 
<laughs> He's like, what the fuck is up with Darth Vader? Yeah, that's wrong. <laughs> All right, I'll let's that movie. Let's just say you have a Darth Vader fetish. How is this? I mean, you've got a bikini with some buttons on it. Yeah. And the belt buckle, which is also way too low. Also, I should point out the saber is not included. Exactly. So yeah. I mean, they did a good job shaping her hair, kind of like his helmet. So points yeah. for that. Yeah, but you know, the whole Darth Vader thing, though, is he he is covered in third degree burns, <laughs> and he has no limbs. Well, not only that, I mean, you could done the helmet. Come on, that's kind of iconic. Yeah. yeah, this is just sort of this is this is like we want Darth Vader, but like sexy, like sexy how? Like I don't know. Just do like sexy. Want, do people want to fuck Darth, Darth Vader? I, sh- you know what? Probably, le- probably a lot when he had James Earl Jones's voice. Probably a lot less when he was Hayden. But like, does that breathing sound do it for people? That <sighs> maybe, maybe that, like, spit sucker at the dentist sound. <laughs> maybe, but you know, I, I'm pretty. I'm pretty sure James Earl Jones got the ladies going. Probably some gentlemen too. But Hayden Christensen. Not quite so many, no. I don't. I don't think. Especially once they started making his hair look real greasy for some reason. Uh, I didn't understand that styling choice. And finally, we, this last one <laughs> is not really one. It's a whole category. We're circling back around to Yandy again because this is a Yandy, Yandy costume. Yandy should sponsor this bit for us every year. <laughs> well, you know what? No, I don't think this. I think they should go away. Uh, and this is this has been pointed out by myself, some other people, notably Nico Case has been tweeting a whole lot about this. Bless your heart. Yandy has an entire category dedicated to um, what they call. I, I, I want to point out this uh, just this discrepancy here on the website. It's read <sighs> reads as Native American costumes. But up here, the URL quite clearly says Indian costumes. Sexy racism. That is pretty much where all this is. I want you to see how many are on Yandy's site. So many. So um, many. Just all of these. Every single model, I'll also point out, is uh, Caucasian. Oh, War Chief Hottie. What's yeah. the fucking pink one about? Is that like sexy racism Barbie? <laughs> um... Native American hottie, beautiful Native American babe, Native American babe. Native There's Amer- one that kind of looks like Deadpool. Yeah, all tribal babe, tribal hottie, Cherokee sweetheart. So now we're actually getting into actual tribal names here. Um, yeah, and uh, this this is uh, this hottie is hottie Native babe, th- hot on the hunt. Yeah, powwow adult. Um, Courageous cutie. Tribal trouble native. This has gone on long enough. We've we've covered. Yeah. We've been doing this but, bit on the show for years and years. And um, Yandy is pretty much. They've been confronted on this this year hard, especially yeah. after the Handmaid's Tale. They pulled it. That's fictional. They were yeah. willing to pull it over the, a, a costume based on a fictional property over an uproar. And yet, this yeah. represents an actual people. Yeah. Who we've pretty much exterminated. And well, and still, they have a whole category for fortune teller. Mm. They got the whole belly dancer. So, like, any kind of racism you want. Yeah, uh, this, uh, the fact, what, the, I'm sure there's a sexy geisha in here somewhere. That URL is just driving me crazy, though. The Indian costumes. In, really? they're, they're even still doing that. Yeah. That is just criminy. This needs to stop, Andy. This seriously, check out the cancel Yandy hashtag on Twitter if you're so inclined. Because I'm not the only person. Of the, a lot of people are pretty much... Uh, I was not aware of that, actually. Yeah, a lot of people are pretty much of the opinion that this needs to end, and Yandy needs to get a little bit of pressure put on it. Now, Yandy, for their part, were called out on it, and they're saying, well, yeah, but it sells, though. It does. That was their reasoning. Yeah. There's nothing 
dumb fucking white chicks love more than looking like Pocahontas for some reason. Yeah, but but it sells or, though. We, we yeah, it would kind of be nice if. Well, uh, and Yandy's whole thing with Halloween is they like to push the envelope. Like they they did the sexy pizza rat, they did sexy corn. Like their whole thing is we want to take, we want to make the most ridiculous sexy costume of the year every year. Yeah, well. <laughs> We're tired of that shit. You are snoring so loud, baby. <laughs> so yeah, that's that's the, the the. I'm still I'm still going back to that fucking Bambi costume. Yeah. That might not have been the worst, but it certainly was the most goddamn ridiculous. I gotta. Can we see that one again? <laughs> yeah. Hey, it's your show. Look at that. Look, just. God damn, lazy shit. God damn. Deer thing is a thing, though, and I don't know why. Like, literally, there was a whole deer section <clears throat> at the Halloween store, and I was like, why? Okay. I guess it's, I, you know, I, I don't, no, I got nothing. I got fucking nothing. I got, I got. Just, it's the new cute animal. Deer? Yeah. I guess. I wish you could hear her over here. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, man. That's that's what the kids are into these days, deer. Let's hope they're not actually into into the deer. <laughs> I hope not. No.